New York, AP, if this was Dusty May's finale at Florida Atlantic, he was nothing but grateful. After coaching FAU to an unexpected Final Four appearance last year, May and his eighth-seeded Owls were knocked out in the first round of the NCAA tournament on Friday with a 77-65 overtime loss to number 9 seed Northwestern. Naturally, there's speculation May could now leave for a bigger job after putting Florida Atlantic on the college basketball map. We're really proud of the program that he's built and the team, proud of the success they've been able to accomplish, FAU Athletic Director Brian White said. And I know he's proud of that as well. And that's probably what's most important to him and us right now. And I think our goal is going to continue to build the FAU basketball program and support our student-athletes as best we can. White said he plans to meet with May soon, as he normally would, to assess the season and what's next. May, who agreed to a 10-year contract extension last April, might be the hottest name on the coaching market. A former student manager for Bob Knight at Indiana, the 47-year-old May has been most frequently linked to Louisville, which fired Kenny Payne last week, a long-expected move at a Blue Blood program that won only 12 games the past two seasons. He is also expected to draw interest from Michigan and Vanderbilt. File, Florida Atlantic head coach Dusty May reacts during the second half of an NCAA college basketball game against South Florida, Sunday February 18, 2024, in Tampa, Florida. May is one of the hottest commodities in coaching. His name is being linked to openings at Louisville, Ohio State, Michigan, and Vanderbilt. And his eight-seeded Owls start NCAA play Friday in New York against ninth-seeded Northwestern. AP photo slash Scott Audet, file. But after the loss to Northwestern in Brooklyn, May was thinking about his current players. Like to express gratitude for taking so many people on a great ride, and we had great moments today, May said. Credit Northwestern. They are statistically better in almost every facet of the game, and we just were not at our best and they made enough plays to win. FAU reached the Final Four last season as a number 9 seed, winning Sweet 16 and Elite 8 games at Madison Square Garden in New York, before losing to San Diego State on Lamont Butler's buzzer beater in the national semifinals at Houston. After moving from Conference USA to the American Athletic Conference, the Owls brought back 14 of 15 players and were one of only five Division I programs that didn't have a single player enter the transfer portal. They opened the season ranked number 10 in the AP Top 25 and beat then number 4 Arizona in double overtime in December, but were coming off a hard to explain 74 73 loss to 11th seeded Temple in the AAC semi finals. Against Northwestern, the Owls were undone by a season-high 21 turnovers and 18.5% shooting from three-point territory, 5 of 27. Dot.